Hi everyone, my name is Claire Maxwell at Embodied Learning Systems and today's video is for all of you therapists and teachers out there who are working on Zoom. This is for you to relax your face and um, improve your uh, alertness at the same time. So I think a lot of us are stuck in this kind of battle between experiencing chronic tension and then trying to relax, trying to relax and trying to sort of de-energize the musculature um, or let it go. And this is, um, doesn't really help us find calm in activity and in our work. Um, so if you add to that zoom and the narrowing effects of working on a screen with people, it can really take toll on your body. So today we are on cranial nerve five, um, learning what it has to show us about how we can calm ourselves and how we can coordinate ourselves. Um, it has three branches and today we're on the second branch. So take a look at this picture first so you can see what that is. It's the middle branch that does your upper lip, your nose and lower eyelids, and it goes all the way up to the side of the skull, the side of the eye sockets. And there's a lot of um, powerful musculature, especially up here, that affects your jaw, which is in the first, uh, is enervated by the first branch of the nerve. But today we're on the second. So take a look at the picture and just enjoy it. You don't have to try to remember facts, but just use it to stimulate your imagination. Hi there, everybody. So I'm back. So that illustration you just looked at, what we're gonna do is bring sensation to that second branch of the trigeminal nerve, which brings sensation to your skin. It's so sensitive, skin. So you don't need to poke or try to relax the muscles underneath. Just let the touch awareness work its magic. So can warm your hands up a little bit, softening the skin of your palms, bring a little warmth to them, and just touch your, it's hard to talk and do this at the same time, touch your upper lip and the skin kind of has a little bit of softness and mobility. And you'll also feel the skin, if you, if you move the skin a little tiny bit, You'll feel the skin on the inside of your nose also. Mm. And then your cheeks and your lower eyelids. So the cheeks and the lower eyelids. This is a place that people touch to comfort themselves or to process um, distress, you know just to touch and then you're going to walk along the cheekbone, the side of your eye socket, and you'll find this little dip there that's um, on top of your cheekbone because your cheekbone actually sticks out and there's a big muscle that goes underneath it that controls your jaw. So bring your hands up to the side of your head here and just feel the skin all around the sides of the back of your head. Okay, so bringing your hands back down to your lips, you're going to let the weight of your head go forward. I'm going to step back just a little bit so you can see. So the weight of my elbows is draping forward and my forearms, the weight of my head, and my pelvis is going back. If you try to hold your pelvis over your legs like that, it's going to make everything more difficult. So you can let your knees bend a little bit and just keep walking down 
the weight of the side of your head. So it's kind of a weeble wobble from the pelvis to the sides of your head. So letting the weight go over as far as you can, I want you to just turn your head slightly. So if you turn your head, I have to clear my mouth, turn your head to the left, let your body weight shift a little bit into the right leg. I'm actually, I don't know if you can do it, but I'm touching my right elbow to my right knee. And you just have a nice contact on your skull. And then come back to the center. And turn your head very tiny bit, a very tiny bit. Maybe you can rest your elbow and let the weight go into your left foot a little bit. You can let that free elbow hang and come back to the center and then slowly, slowly come up so you don't get dizzy. See out in front of you. You can turn and shift your weight like this, standing up too. You have a nice purchase on your head. And maybe bring your hands even further back. It's amazing. Whoa, there's a lot of skull back there. So you can just sort of feel the bone under your hands. And then you can take your hands away and see how your balance feels how your face feels. Feels a lot easier to breathe actually. And my shoulders feel a little bit easier as well as my face feeling open and kind of alive. So I hope this will help you get out of the chronic cycle between tension and relaxation. There is an in-between land um, that you can live in all day long. Okay, peace and love. Bye now.